while our coats, coveralls, and hands are reasonably clean this morning, let's put these seats in the truck. We got the seats installed, tightened down, seat belts reattached, and shh, don't tell my wife. I've taken some uh, bath towels from the linen closet and covered them up just to make sure that they stay nice and clean and dust free while the truck is still here in the shop. To get to your air filter, it's here on the passenger side. There are six bolts all the way around the cover. Take those off and we'll gain access to the air filter. things going over here. Are you you doing that? Hi Joe. <laughs> Sorry. How hockey this weekend. We're here in the back of the sleeper right now. This is a 780, so it's got the workstation configuration in this one and I wanted to show you where the other air filter goes. Here under the seat bench seat behind the passenger side there is another air filter. That is exclusively for the rear air conditioning and heater unit. We'll pull that out and place it with a new one. It just sits across there like that. Okay, we're getting near the end of the build, so Kevin's going to pull out the batteries now. So that goes across the front edge of the batteries. that bus bar that one's nice and clean I don't see any corrosion that one's in really good condition of course before we make a call to replace batteries when they're in the truck and when we were first looking at this truck we did a load test on them just to see what how the batteries were performing and I was going to duplicate that test for you now to show you what we used. The first battery you see down here I had that charging at uh, trickle charging just at a couple amps overnight and when I came back in I found that the battery just really wasn't taking a full full charge it was still trying to put some put a charge into it. Uh, you can see that I've got even a second one hooked up there on the charger in the back and if you look at my gauge, it's showing. Uh, I've got my, my charger set to 40 amps, and that battery is still charging at 30, and it's been a couple hours. So I think we found even a really poor battery in the whole set. But I thought I would show you. I've got my uh, got a load tester hooked up to the bottom battery, my first one here, and I was going to run a test on it. So let's turn it on. 
We'll do a battery test. We have to program in the cold cranking amps, and these ones are 950. And it's a regular type battery, and in about a minute we'll see how this one goes. I'm expecting that it's going to show that it's a good battery, but it's probably um, going to show a low charge. But of course I could never get it to get right up to a full charge. Let's see how it goes. So, as we expected, it shows as a good battery but a low charge. We really see that this battery didn't work that well when it was cold here in Canada. Of course, it's, it's getting near the end of its life and it's time to replace, so that's why we did all four. And you can see, I've got one there that um, is really a suspect battery, so they all got replaced.